makeup tutorial for you guys and today will be fall looking. I already did my eyebrows so I hope you guys don't mind and the first step I'm going to do is put moisturizer on my face so my face doesn't get too dry. I'm going to be taking my Claire's palette. I absolutely love this. I used it for my last video. And I'm going to be taking this blending brush. It is from e.l.f. And I'm going to be taking the color gold. This color goes on so smooth and so pretty. I don't have to put layers and layers and layers. It was perfect the way it came out. Gonna be taking this light brown color it is very shimmery very shimmery next i'm gonna take this clear color that is also this whole palette's just shimmery okay don't judge me. It's all shimmering. Who doesn't love shimmering stuff? But I'm going to put this on. for my eyeliner, so my eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Eyes Studio. I absolutely love this stuff. I know I say I love everything, but I absolutely love this stuff because it goes on very smooth, and it's not too dark. It's not too black at all. It's more of a dark, dark, dark gray. And it's got sparkles in it. Just eating me the sparkles, just to light up my eyes and make them pop. take this little blendy angle brush and I'm just going to be doing a shadow effect under my eyes. going to go back with the gold and put a little bit under my eyes. I absolutely love this brush only because it seems to go the right way. I can never find a really good brush so I just use this brush. And 
I'm going to be taking my false lash. And I'm going to be pointing upward as I'm going. I know you can't see, but I've been, I point upward a little bit to push my eyelashes up. I try to get them long. Next, I am going to be taking my CoverGirl volume. This gives a lot of volume, so I don't have to use very much. And I about ran out, so I had to just get it out of there. <laughs> I'm going to go back with a second coat. And next I'm taking my Derma Blend and I only take a little bit for my face. I don't like to clump up my face so it only takes a little bit. And if anybody knows a really good brush to do this, please comment down below because this one loses its bristles. I think that's what it's called. It's like itty bitty hairs. I don't know how to control that. So if you have any suggestions, please leave it down below and let me know. I'm going to be putting my age rewinding concealer just under my eyes. I have really dark circles under my eyes because I have kids and I get up and I don't get a lot of sleep and coffee is my number one. Moving on to the blush. I am only going to be putting on a little bit and right there I was just getting those little hairs off like I told you. But I'm taking my e.l.f. blush and I'm only taking just a little bit. And then I ran out of bronzer so I just used this brown color 
Um, I put it on my eyebrows. That's what I had for my eyebrows. So please don't judge me, okay? I ran out, but it did look pretty good. It really did. And I only put it on my cheekbones. And then I'm taking, yes, again, my baby powder. If you're new, you're gonna have to go back to my other videos and understand why I use baby powder. It's very interesting. You should go, you should go watch my other makeup videos. I am putting this bright lip stain. It is from e.l.f. and I was very surprised with this product. Very, very surprised with it. And I'm trying to concentrate because I don't want to miss and have streaks down my face. Gonna be taking this light pink color on top of lip stain. And I thought it turned out very pretty. I absolutely love the way my makeup turned out today. Absolutely love it. And that was the last step I had for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe and stay tuned to my other makeup videos that will be in the future. I enjoy doing this for you guys. I will see you guys later. Bye guys.